All right, we got one last one in us here today. <laughs> we got one last one here. BBPN Season 10 continues here as we still wait for Bloody Awful to kick in full force here. Hopefully they might be starting by as soon as next week. I will check in with good old Commissioner Yarek on that one there. All right, now for a deliberately silly game. Let's get it on. Williams is in the house. Fuck. <laughs> oh, let's see what Williams can do here. All right. Who we got here today here? Oh, this ought to be a lot more fun here. Yeah, you see that right here. You see that right here. Dark Elves have drawn a team. They're really not too sure they want to play. No, they're really not too sure here, because Dark Elves, well, they still are missing a player. They're down to a learner. They are skilling up nicely here. They've been doing pretty good this season. Well, notice here they drew. They drew the Ogres as the next one killed the Elves. Well, we'll see how that works. Three rerolls and overwork to Pothgerry. Meanwhile, the Ogres, well, two rerolls, Pothgerry. And you're wondering what that is. Yes, that is Brick and Grotty, the famous duo there. Fun fact, technically, he's supposed to have been revised. As a Doom Diver. Fun fact that, yep, Grotty is now supposed to be a Doom Diver. But they haven't reprinted him. In fact, they just took the character out and haven't issued it yet. So that's caused a lot of consternation all across different parts of the Beth, either those lads who actually go and play a real team, aka, well, Ogres. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, indeed is how it works there. All right, I'm going to try and fix this damn filter here. It's, the light level keeps changing. All right, fine. I'll use that one. All right. I've actually had to order in new lights. I'm ordering in extra ones in there to go and fix there. Yeah, Grack and Crumbleberry have nothing on Brick and Grotty. The legends continue. All right, big trouble. Can we go and do something now here? You picked the wrong house, fool! Oh, I hope they did. I really fucking hope they did. I'd love them to have picked the wrong house, the wrong curtains, the wrong drapes, the wrong fucking everything here. Hooray! He's got the ball! Not said. First cat ah, the boneheads have started already. Let's try this again here. Three dice, push me, push you. Remember the, you remember he makes Yorick look good when it comes to the boneheads. Two! Two boneheads! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we're, we're off on this again, are we? Yeah. All right, come on. Three dice. Gets the hit, gets the takedown, and he's pile on. So it doesn't matter if he doesn't break it or not. Here we go! Seriously? What's wrong with me? Yes! <laughs> What are you going to do? Bleed on me? There you go. First elf of the day. He got one, lads. He got one. He absolutely got one. Fuck yes. Yeah. There goes Grotty. He's escorting the lad over. Now, at this point here, honestly, 100%, the smartest play the elves can do is just go after the ball carrier. Screw this. Just utterly bugger this. All right. Well, you need to be covering the poor lad. And... Bonehead again! Three out of five boneheads on a one in six roll! Bravo, Fidel! Bravo! You're really demonstrating well here. All the fun you've had with Hoogies this year. <laughs> it's why we love you. It's a good thing you're so fucking handsome. <laughs> I'd be jealous. Alright, there he goes. Ta oh, come on! You bully! You fucking bully! What's with kids today, huh? No respect. What did that poor nobler ever do to you, you little bastard? What's he doing? Riding the tin can! Ay! No respect whatsoever. No respect whatsoever here. Alright, Dark Elves redeploying here. Cool, they're actually gonna try and scrum one of the ogres here. They actually wanna try and scrum them. They are gonna try and scrum them here. Meanwhile, here comes the calendar girl, full speed ahead. Woohoo! Oh, I love our calendar girl. Calendar girl. Chicka chicka email. Two red dice. Gets away with it. Gets the push. 
push me, push you there. And that is it for turn number one, turn two here for the Ogres. Well, now uh, yeah, the Ogres are finally moving. They need to stop doing some pounding here. Pounding it and pounding it and pounding it. Well, there goes Grotty. Doesn't have the ball, though, so I don't know why he's running up there. But, you yeah, know, Grotty does run very well. 84 Goblin. Well, now he's got the ball. He runs there. He has the Grotty. Grotty's got the ball. You didn't realize Grotty's moved, right? Oh, no. What is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of your women. That is good. That is, that is good. good. That is good indeed there. But there's a problem there. Oh, here we go. It's time to fly. Let's go. Full speed ahead. Good God, he landed. Woohoo! Panda! Shut up! Yep, Grotty made the landing. It's amazing what AT4 will do. Yep, he made it. Can't move, but he made it. Now the Dark Elves will have to actually go and do something. Meanwhile, yep, a couple still. Now remember, it's stunty. So these tackle zones don't add up here. So it's all looking for twos the whole way here. Isn't that right, cadet? <laughs> Phrasing. Yeah, meanwhile, Dark Elves. What do you need to help? How is he straight to two? And again, same question still applies. What do you need the fucking help for? Easily makes the dodge. Goes around the corner. Turns around. Two dice. Ow, oh, look, he's got the tackle. Oh, crap. I really, really think that sucks. Bye, Grotty. Bye. Don't forget to write. I'll send you a fruit basket, all right? I'll send you a fucking fruit basket. That was the problem with Grotty having already moved. He couldn't run away. Oh well, boot to the head. Nah, nah. <laughs> Meanwhile, down here, let's go pick on an ogre. Guess we can do that around here. Yeah, he gets a solid hit, gets a nice take down there. Meanwhile, over here. Stop packing all the noblers. Alright, easy casual dodge there. Runs over here. He's gonna mark the nobbler. Don't know why. No, seriously, don't know why. Why are you marking a nobbler? What's he ever done to you? And meanwhile, Calder Girl running down the field here. Let's see if she can actually get the Calico. It makes first GFI. Risk the second, and then fails to handle her ball. Crap, crap, shit, fuck. I really, really think that sucks. Well, you can tell she's young. <laughs> she's not been in the brothel enough times to learn the fine art of getting the grip on, so if you know what I mean. Get up! <laughs> Ever since the pylon, he's just laid there the rest of the game so far. Bing bong! You just made the list! And they're all making the fucking list. Alright, Titchy comes running up here. Alright, with the Ogre like to hit something. There we go, bravo. Three dice, gets a hit, gets a takedown right there. Doesn't break the armor there, unfortunately. Meanwhile, more not. Wait, why are you going this way? Go get the ball! I didn't say you'd get it, but go get the fucking ball! Oh god, well, Brick is actually throwing the shade. He gets a hit, gets a takedown. That wasn't bad, that wasn't bad at all. That's actually a stun. And me, what, but Brick, where the fuck are you going? Alright, Kay. I have no idea what the fuck this Ogre Firm's doing here. I'm so used to Yorick. This is confusion galore. Solid hit, solid takedown. I'm alive! Fuck you! And he's still alive. Well done. Dark Elves, casually still sitting on three rerolls at the moment here. Lona redeploys. I think he really wants her to score. <laughs> That's what she said last night. Well, she's going to mark the ball instead. She's going to actually trust this lad. There he goes. Got the... He, the no. No, he doesn't. Stupid idiot. Would you like to reroll that again there, son? Yeah, he's got it that time there. Yeah, ain't he false? Not what's cracked up to be these days, is it? Yeah. It happens. And meanwhile, Dark Elves quietly redeploy here. He easily makes the dodge. Yeah, no surprise fucking there. And meanwhile, another casual dodge runs away. And how about you, Sunshine? Would you like to dodge? No, you won't. I don't know why you're dodging. You're just going to get hurt. Yeah, at least that was the hope anyway. All right, turn four here. All right, Ogre Firm. Now, yeah, fun little reminder here. The Ogres do have reserves. Three of them. See how long they actually last. Alright. Ah, hey! Welcome back to the game, you twinkle twat. And yeah, there he goes, wandering over. 
Meanwhile, there goes Brick doing what he does. It's just not the right way, but that's okay. Remember, Brick's biggest advantage is nerves of steel, strong arm. That is a real advantage with that player. It gives him an extra plus throwing the ball. He doesn't care about tackle zones. He's a great player. Don't get me wrong. He's an absolute fuck. A great player. Put him in a team with Crumpleberry. It's absolutely bizarre. Meanwhile, big kick right there. Dodge this. Well, that didn't work. And then why are we not following it up anyway? Because we're going here, sir. Okay, fine. I'll allow that. Here comes the foul. It's trampoline time. I mean, I'm fisting him today. I'm sorry. Are you now? Ed, why? <laughs> Why are you calling it, Ed? Why? Just why? There's no reason to call it. He doesn't need saving. The Noblet, not, not the Elf. Who gives a fuck about the Elf? All right, Dark Elves. Back down the field here. Makes the two dice. Gets pushed by push you there. And meanwhile, yeah, that's all the other crazy ones. A sure hands handling with Grack. It's absolutely bizarre. Charges in, gets the block. Take down! Now, oh, guess what? Fuck you too, I'm still alive. Ha ha! Fuck you! And me, what? Moving along here. More Dark Elves. Redeploying here. Getting into the center of things. Not too worried about that. Casual dodge. Now, you can see this as a very light screen. Well, it's not like he's got a wizard or anything like that. Like, what could possibly go wrong here? Got a list, do we? All right. All right, all these knuckle heads going to do... Well, that's the problem with him getting blodge. Yeah, you, you need triple red die pows. It's the only way you're taking him down here. Unless... Three rolls, Mr. Piling on. He definitely wants to get a nice kid fisting. And there he goes. Gets the hit. Gets the takedown. My nipples explode with the leg. Is it dead now? No. Crap, crap, shit, fuck. I really, really think that sucks. Ah, oh, it doesn't everybody, lad. We all think that fucking sucks. Fantastic. <laughs> you can imagine that is what immediately went through Fit Hell's head when that happened. Brick is gone, lads. Brick is gone. Trips on a gerbil and breaks his own freaking fucking neck. Well done. Bravo, lad. Bravo. Fucking O. Bravo. <laughs> Wow, what a screw up that was. All right, well, the Dark Elves are like, woohoo! That saves them one hell of a headache. Charges in, two dice, gets the block, gets the takedown. Bye bye! Uh, well, Dark Elves at this point pretty much just score at this point here. I'll stall, pick one. They're in a rush right now. Not after that happened, they're in a rush at fucking all. Hello, girl, doing what she does best there. Jiggity, 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 running down the field in there. Oh, no, no, don't spoil it there. Don't spoil it. We're just watching for the comedy, lad. We're just watching for the comedy here. Burnhead! One more time. You just made the list! Ah, uh, he's got a long list, I'm telling you here. All right, run. You don't need to remind him. How about you? Why are we running here? Why? Okay, you. Rerolls the bonehead because he just seems to roll an awful lot of them, sir. Push me, push you, and what did that achieve? Stupid idiot! Oh, Mr. Pylon finally stands up again. Oh no, he's had one. Uh... Stupid idiot! <laughs> I'm gonna have to have that on a hot key somewhere. The way this game's going. All right, turn six here for Dark Elves. Well, they get time to um. Prolong the inevitable, as it were, here. All right, goes over the top. All right, so I'll, I'll leave the poor knob alone, you big fucking bully. I mean, I'm fisting him to death, I'm sorry. All right, moves over here. Couple more Dark Elves, redeploy, move back down the field here. It's got things nice and covered. Two dice into the ogre, knocks his flat fucking on his ass once more. Panda! Fucking... Shut up! 
Well, the US Postal Service is clearly stunned by the volume of kicking to the nads it just took right there. Meanwhile, the rest of the Dark Elves, I don't blame you. No, seriously, I don't blame you at all here. You need to keep these players alive. You already saw what happened turn one. Fortunately, so far, the rest of the turns, not so much. The gerbils have come to... Sigh. Stupid idiot. <laughs> He's doing it again, sir! <laughs> All right, he gets up. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> Stupid idiot. <laughs> it can only get worse from here. <laughs> Remember, it's a wooden sex. It's a fucking, I swear, it's a wooden fucking sex. You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. Doesn't seem that way, does it? There, it's a cell phone special. All right, push me, push you. All right, cheeky little hand off there. I swear. You th you think they're getting the best coverage they ever have? They keep getting on cell twats, aren't they? They're twatting away as we speak. Yay! He's finally moving. All right, how about the rest of these lads? All right. Moving along. Yeah, it's kind of three turns too late, but they're finally moving. All right, Mr. Piling on. Piling off. Uh, raising. <laughs> what is with it? First, it's the cell phone, Kermis, and then it's also the gerbils. Nothing is going right for the ogres today. Why are we beating on him? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Why are you doing that, lad? Why? I know you're gonna beat on him. Oh, he's KO'd. Sigh. Fantastic. All right, it's a KO. We'll take that. Well, there it is. There's the score. We're on the board. It's 1-0. Halftime score and really no surprise at all here. It's 1-0 here for Dark Elves. This halftime course being brought to you by Sonic, Which basically asked me what you've been watching here today. Sonic. Ah, good giddy fucking art. Yeah, favorite blood ball team. Goblins, hands down. Goblins always win that vote any day. All right, well, the Ogres are on the defense. Now, mind you, they did have reserves, but... On a fucking gerbil. He blows a GFI, he breaks his freaking neck. So, Brick is out. Grotty is out. What did you spend the money on? Hookers? You would have gotten further. I don't care what that smell was coming from them. Meanwhile, Dark Elves, as you can see here, well, they've got the one injury from turn fucking one. That's it. That, that has been it there. So the Dark Elves are in cruise control right now here. Welcome to the second half. This should be easy, right? <laughs> I'm warned. This is now going to start getting bizarre, isn't it? It's going to get utterly bizarre. Oh, we'll find out there. All right, there's the toss. And now the most exciting event you can possibly get on the kickoff table in Blood Bowl. Yes, indeed. Well, that was decent. Doesn't really stop the Dark Elves. They're an AG14 there. So Dark Elves now move up the field here. We'll see what they do here. But personally, when it comes to playing teams, Goblins, all-time favorite, still is, hasn't changed. It's been a time when I'd not played them, that was because the rules were broken for a while. Especially when it came to bribes causing 100k. What was the fucking point of that there? Big hit, big kick alongside the head there. Meanwhile, more of the lads charging in. Oh god, goes right in. There we go. Tackle! I'm still alive! Mystique. 
Ah, oh, so we can go pick on ogre. Look, you've seen what the ogres have for the cellular plan. Why are you beating on the ogres? It's not like they're doing anything, as pointed out by Luke earlier. It's not like they're fucking doing anything there. The coverage must be awesome in this stadium. 5G network all the way there. Ah, Underworld or Necromancer? Eh, Necro's okay. Underworld, though, I love Underworld. Don't get me wrong. Underworld, the magic is the mutations. Speaking of... To the pit. Yeah, pits! Just a stun. Didn't I say it was Williams? It's definitely Williams. He hasn't called Jack shit. He really hasn't, except for the poor innocent Norbler. Typical. Absolutely fucking typical there. Alright, well, the Ogres. Let's get back into business here. Three dice. Gets a hit, gets a takedown there. Does he actually hit something? Well, he hit him. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Yeah, it's definitely more disappointment there. Well, don't worry, that's what trampolines are for. Like you there. How would you like to meet the, meet the trampolines? So that's what Sneaky gets for. Oh, cunning plan. Let's see how well this works. A couple more novelists moving in here. And here he goes. Let's get him. Come on, lad. Do it. Do it. Yay for murder. Yes! I will take that. We will definitely take that one. There we are. Solid removal right there. And well done. Bravo. Yep. Riding the thing. Williams ain't calling a fucking thing. Alright. 10-10 here for the Dark Elves. Enjoying a 1-0 lead at the moment here. Oh, let's go pound on an ogre. Why not? Because we are men. And he took some down there. Not men, you elves. I always play Blood Bell on the tabletop. I always do. It's fantastic there. Some of you look at your pet people there in the channel. Some of them do play the Blood Bell version. We all miss the naff right now. We all miss the naff. All right, turns the corner. Calendar Girl taking the front line. Now, I can see what he wants to do. He really wants to give the Calendar Girl some skill points here. 1-0. So far, the game hasn't gone too wrong here. Dark Elves are used to being down players here. And right now, they're not too worried. Big solid hit there. Big solid punch. And he got him down right there. <laughs> yeah, that was a laugh and a half right there. That was definitely a laugh and a half right there. Pretty damn good, that. Yeah! Ah, yeah, that was pretty damn good indeed there. Welcome aboard. Welcome back to the supporters chain there. All right, well, can the Ogres turn this around somehow? No, no, not really. <laughs> They're working on it. They are working on it there. I'm debating it. I'm debating that one there. It all depends there, you know, how fucked up the province is. Alright, push me, push you. Ogre's still not quite getting things to work here. They're trying, lads. They're trying. That was a terrible first half. Oh, here comes Mr. Piling on. Yeah, yep. He gets a nice big hit right there. Takes him down. Come on! Get him! I killed everybody. Did you now? Not really. Not really at all. Sigh. Oh, here we go. It's time for fouling because, well, the boss is not dead. Yeah, here we go. Fouling's all right. Oh, hi. Off you go. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's still alive. Bonk. Don't worry. Williams doesn't even know where the red card really is. You think he lost it on the first nobbler he booked for no reason. All right, Dark Elves prancing down the field as fast as they can go here because they figure this better be an easy score. Run, bitch! Run! Dark Elves turn the corner. Oh, come on! Stop picking all the Nobblers! What's wrong with you, son? What's wrong with you here? I mean, what more of them? Turn the corner here. Okay, there we go. Okay, gonna go pick on Ogre. Yep, show your real pride here, you Dark Elf here. It's not like you're a flimsy wood elf cunt team here. You can, you can show some real aggression here, lad. Dark Elves keeping the screen here. Not, not like he's going down anytime soon. Strength three. These are more blues unless the ogre gets lucky. <sighs> this is Finn Hell. Ogres never get lucky. All right. Uh oh. No! No! Oh, good God, he made it! Yep, threw the, he threw him there and he actually fucking made it! There we go! So we're back in business there, Sunshine! Ah, right to about that moment. It 
needs to be about 20% cooler. I know. Fuck yes. Something goes right and something immediately goes wrong. All right. Noblis running in here. Can they actually get another player on? Yes, they can. That, that makes it two. They made it two. Can they make it three? Well, they have to mark this silly little bitty. And they do exactly that there. Just a piling on. Gets back on here. Well, he's going to rumble on over here. Ah, uh, here it is. The power of the one die blitz. Can't he fucking do it? Cage dives in. There we go. There's the dump off. You are so small. It's funny to me. He nearly fumbles his balls and he actually got him. That's a wrestle. Ah, oh, he definitely does something, all right. Diggity, diggity, diggity. It's all going to come down to the Calder girl now at this point here. Well, the Dark Elves are now into a scrum. They didn't expect a scrum at this point here. Yeah, they're stuck in a dunny. All right, charges down the field. And right into a failed GFI. Like to try that again? Yep, you like to try that again. I will hunt you down wherever you're hiding and I will eliminate you. I am, I am... Justice. <laughs> yep, double one gerbil. Takes himself down on that one then. Guess what? The bastard's got the ball. Time for a true display of skill. Yep, Noble has got the ball. He's running for... Oh, no. No, no. Here he goes. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines... Woohoo! And he sticks the landing again there. He is three for fucking three on thrown players this game. He keeps sticking the runner. Now, probably he's just had a moment, but he made it. Ah, moves another player over here. Oh, wait, re-rolls that one. All right, that's fair, that's fair. Gets a nice big solid hit. Takes the bastard down. Come on! Yeah, hopefully it's round two, three, four. Uh, it's only a stun. Oh, don't cheer that! Don't cheer that! You bastards! Why oh, would you believe the ogres are right back in this game here? Who believe it? Yep, a normal can fly! One die over here. Gets the pound, takes the runner down! Beautiful! Tonight we hunt! Well, the Dark Hills don't know what the fuck's going wrong here! They, they must have strutting in score! Ball's all the way fucking down here now, suddenly. Well, this has gone awkward, hasn't it there, McFly? Yeah, pretty much. All right, push me, push you. Side step. Yeah, they've made this look so fucking easy, haven't they? All right, can he rescue the situation? Full speed ahead. That's the wrong one. Uh, son, that's the guy over here. All right, gets the hit. Takes him down. Oh, it's only a stun there. Meanwhile, easy casual dodge comes running around here. Well, how far can this little bastard go? One, two, three, four, five again. Unless they pick him up and throw him again. Wait for it. I'm starting to think that's exactly what Finnell's going to do with this ogre firm. He's just going to run over here and throw the little bastard again. Just get him further down the field. All right, ogres. Redeploying. Oh, good God. He, that's exactly what he's gonna do, and he's doing it. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Woohoo! <laughs> he did it! He did it! He threw him again, and he's further down the field. <laughs> go, you little twat whistle! Go! Run! 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 run. Oh. <laughs> Tripped on the goal line! Tripped on the goal line! Oh, all that! He trips on the fucking goal line! Oh, hang on in shame. 1 in 27 rolled by the Dark Elves. They have to re roll that. The turn was over. So he re rolls that one there. Turn 14. Remember, the Dark Elves are still up by one at this point here because of the easy defensive touchdown. Solid block, solid takedown down the field there. Got him. Well, not dead yet. Three dice here. Another solid hit. Another solid tank down right there. There he goes. Ow. 
Ow! Clench the butt cheeks. Yeah, clench the butt cheeks indeed. Ow! Finally, casually, yeah. You're not wrong. Oh, now he just took that one down there. Brilliant! All right, Dark Elves, realizing how bad the situation is, they're gonna now set up Hell Chain to go and score. And his name is Panda. Nope, 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 that ain't working. That ain't fucking good enough. All right, Elgis, what can they do? Well, they can do a miracle score. God, they're looking for what? A pile of fours. A lot of them, man. They're looking for a hell of a lot of them here. Big hit. Took him down. Oh, that's a good start. Well, he's stunned. Meanwhile, up there's the bonehead right there. Message for you, sir. There we go. Makes the dodge. He's got the ball. He makes the score. Woohoo! Yeah, you gotta admire that tenacity. They never quit, never surrendered. The ogres are on the board. We are tied at fucking one. What a fucking game. It all came down to the art of throwing gobs and knobs and everything else so far this game. Finally, fi I'm without Brick. Brick's been... F he tripped on a gerbil early in the game, broke his own freaking neck. It it's been just a disaster then. Well, Dark Elves, this is looking too good here. Now, you can score it, sure. You've got a reroll here. You're looking okay. You're down two players. But I wouldn't be too worried about that. It is right now 9 on 11 here for the Dark Elves. They can score this. As long as nothing goes wrong. There we go. Big throw. Really? Fucking really? How the blood-soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. Let's turn the clock back, Riot, and suddenly Dark Elves' life just got a whole fucking lot easier. Big hit, big takedown. Poor lad. Yeah, he's alive. Wait, he isn't dead. Shy surprise. I know, he isn't dead. I'm amazed. <clears throat> Dark Elves, of course, putting as many Elves receivers down the field as they can here at this point. You, go, get the ball. Well done. The runner's got the ball here. Now he's going to try and get it up to the calendar girl. Maybe not that urgently, though. You see, now he's already seen how bizarre the game has been going here. So he's he's not risking it just yet. Dark Elves, curl around here. Now, remember, what we got left here on the Ogre Firm? Well, Grotty is back. So there's a possibility if he throws Grotty down, he might be able to get this. Oh, here we go. Grotty is back. There he goes. He made it! Woohoo! It happens! Grotty, perfect landing, and suddenly, yeah, they're back in business again! Three dice. Big takedown right down the poor lineman. Well, he's going down. And he's KO'd. Kill him, do it! Shoot him! Oh, that's only a KO there, lad. It's only a KO. Next hit there. Going for the bone headed blitz. Ah, uh, who called the cops? That was a great idea. Shame that didn't work. All right, well, the rest of the lads. Why are you not blitzing with him? Shame. Moving all over here. Goes to the push me, push you. Shoves him out of the way here. And, well, nothing else here for Grotty to do, but... Try and figure out what the fuck he's going to do here. And that's why he wanted the ogre through here. One, two, three, four, five. Push, push. Put him right there. Would have been interesting. Would have been interesting indeed. All right, Dark Elves, turn 15. Boy, are they so fucking glad for that right now here. Giving them a chance to quickly redeploy, as they will. Meanwhile, over here, 
Push me, push you. Remember, Grotty is a goblin. He does have dodge. Push me, push you there. You know, people actually forget that about Grotty. Because technically he's still not a Doom Diver yet, he does get the stunty advantage when dodging despite the fact he's got the wings. Even though technically he doesn't work like the wings, so he isn't considered a secret weapon per se. Like I said, it's a, such a complicated discussion. Here we go, there's the- uh-oh! Yay! Would you like to try that again there, sweetheart? There we go, there's the throw! And there, of course, is the catch there. I know, everyone was so helpful. Yeah, Doom Dive is a secret weapon. Correct the mondo. However, the Doom Diver technically counts as a secret weapon per se, aka it hinders his dodge. Oh. Stupid idiot. He tried again. He tried it again. Did work that time. It did work. All right, three die blitz does get the power. Gets a nice little takedown there. Ah, it's a good start. It's something there. Your creatures are becoming angry. Yeah, well, it almost was a perfect six for six. That would have been funny. Six for fucking six on throne players. What a game that would have been there. All right, push me, push you here. Fortunately, the riot really has fucked the ogres at this point here. If they'd just been able to get through here, they could have done something. Really? He should have gambled the blitz here. Two red dice? I would have gambled it. 100% would have gambled it. Alright, well there's the ding dong, ding dong. Ah, he got him. At least he knocked him over. A lot of KO Dark Elves on that drive. Well, they're not wasting time. They're just going to score it there. And it's 2-1. to one. Oh, uh, well, the Dark Elf supporters are going to cheer long into the night on that one there. Boy, have they recovered. But do remember, the Ogres get one more turn, and they do have Grotty. They do indeed have Grotty. Now, if only they had fucking Brick, this would be fucking easy. Instead, a little bit more difficult here. It really is a bit difficult. They can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Heroes never die. I know, they really never do, it seems like. We're starting to see now the problem the Dark Elves have at this point here. How do you set for this? How do you really set for this here? They, it, they literally have to set up, and they hate doing it. They have to set up and hope he lands on them. I'm serious. They're setting up hoping Grotty lands on them. If he really was a proper Doom Diver, this would be incredibly easy to get past here. But he's not. But he is AG4. Meanwhile, as you can see here, they've set up as best they can here. They're trying to have a couple of players set up in case the ball ends up anywhere around here. Then they just get the ball to Grotty. And they're in business. There they go. Solid kick. And really? I didn't think it was a birthday. Oh, it's Mother's Day, is it? <laughs> well, well, fine. Yeah. Apparently Ed's wife's a mother. Well done. <laughs> I did not know that. Well, she's rich. Doesn't surprise me. All right, she's bribed. Big punch right there. Come on, let's make it two. No, no, no. Fortune doesn't favor fools. Didn't favor fools at all there. All right, she tries to pick up the ball, and that is all for that one there. Your final result there, it's two to one there. The Dark Elves really breathe a sigh of relief on that one there a 2-1 they're not badly hurt and they will get out of this one there yeah it was such an unclimatic finish to what had been a bizarre game beyond belief especially that second half there well thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for watching here today it has been a rather bizarre day of blood bowl it has indeed there and of course tomorrow we go back to our regular bbpn broadcast time there 1645 hours mountain standard time daily You'll love it. Tune on in. 
have a great time. And thank you for your support there. It does what make the channel nice possible. Especially the drinking habit occasionally there. Take care. Happy Mum's Day. And Nuffle, bless your dice.